God causes things from your past to work together for good. Take Joseph, for example. From a young age, Joseph sensed that his purpose involved leadership. But when he shared his dream with his brothers, they sold him into slavery. Where was Joseph's dream then? It was shackled to a bunch of other prisoners being dragged and whipped as they walked to a foreign country. Instead of moaning and groaning about his situation, he served with excellence, and his purpose began to rise up even in that terrible situation. The same was true when Joseph was in jail after being accused of rape. Through it all, Joseph continued to have a heart to fulfill his purpose, to lead and be a problem solver. Years later, after interpreting a dream for the Pharaoh, Joseph was released and put in charge of the kingdom. During a famine, Joseph's brothers came to Egypt because their family was starving and Joseph wept loudly. He wasn't crying because he missed his brothers. These were the guys who sold him into slavery and pretended he was dead. What happened was that Joseph was struck with the realization of God's purpose for his life. Through all of those terrible circumstances, Joseph kept his heart right and God was able to use him. It's not your path that determines whether you'll use your purpose. It's your heart. No matter what happens, If your heart is locked on fulfilling a purpose, God will cause all things to work together for your good, for the awesome path He's prepared for you. God has an awesome plan for you today. 